Alright, what's going on, y'all? I'm about to show everybody how you freak some guacamole. So, I've made this once before in the past and it came out so doggone good. So, I'm trying to remember how it go with this here guacamole. So, first and foremost, to make guacamole, you need an avocado. I've already started. I thought about the people. I'm like, oh, I'm going to let them see what I'm doing. A line. Now, the first time I made it, you all, I used Pico. Go right ahead. I don't have any Pico. And I don't want to use Pico this time. I want to try the Rotel this time. I like the original Rotel with the diced tom tomato, excuse me, and green chilies. Yes. It, it has a little uh, kick to that. I was at the store and I had fresh cilantro in my hands. I decided I don't feel like chopping that up tonight. So I'm using dry. I keep this in my cabinet. But FYI, if you choose to make this, you want to use the fresh cilantro. But if you don't have it, then go ahead and use this if you already have it in your cabinet. I tasted this for the first time the other day. It, it 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 has what I'm looking for as far as this, you know, guacamole is concerned. It, it has the correct taste, that rotel. I'm going to put a little of the jalapeno juice, a little salt. I got to fill that up again. A little pepper and a little accent. I hope y'all can see me because I can't see what I'm doing. Because I got this camera <laughs> turned a certain way. And I don't feel like moving it. If I can't get the flavor together. I, I don't know why I grabbed that. Just, if I can't get the flavor together. Adobo is going to have to step in. And help me out. I'm on nachos tonight. I've never had this cheese before. I'm trying it tonight. I'm just making a small amount of nachos. This is how I make my taco meat. I'm not showing y'all, but I'm just going to tell you. Because I don't feel like taking that part today. I'll do it in the near future. I always put the, um, this is how I make my taco meat. I put the salsa up in there, y'all. You know, you season the meat and everything. And I like these chips here. I've been chomping on them, so I need to stop. All right, let me go ahead with this. Watch what I'm doing. So I've already pitted one half of the avocado. I keep talking about avocado, you all, because it's rich in vitamins. K, C, B, and E, and um, antioxidants as well. So you just want to get that seed out. Now you all started this you know dip about an hour and a half ago. Y'all I had an avocado. <laughs> Ooh y'all I just knew I was about to make me some guacamole. I, that avocado said no ma'am. <laughs> I cut into it. It cut the food on me. It wasn't soft enough. You know it wasn't ripe enough and I didn't realize it. So y'all guess what I had to do. I had to stop everything I was doing. Go to the store and get a ripe enough avocado because I really want this guacamole tonight. All right, in this bowl, I'm sorry, I forgot to show it. I already have, hopefully, y'all can see this. Down in this bowl, I already have white. Okay, let me see. Chopped, a small white chopped onion. I'm trying to get it where y'all can see it. Can you, okay. It's, so it's like, this is the size of the onion, right? I cut the onion in half. So about like half of that is in this bowl. I'm going to go ahead. I am really trying to remember what I did when I made this the first time. Don't drag or roast me down to the ground. So I'm figuring this out as I am going. 
But that's all it is about. Just figure it out. Taste. Figure it out and taste. I'm so up right now. I'm really not trying to be in this video. So, if y'all see something crazy, I will. But you got a warning. So, I'm mashing up the avocado. Now, this... The avocado tastes very bland. So when you making guac, like you can't just, I want some guacamole. Pick the avocado and then mash the avocado by itself and dip a chip in there. Nope, you're gonna be highly disappointed. It's very bland. So you have to get it to a certain point. I'm trying to remember, did I blend this the first time? I can't remember you all. As soon as I finish this, I'm gonna uh, brown and season that meat and then put this in I got a small little crock pot a tiny little crock pot that I just bought two weeks ago and I'm so excited to use it I like cooking you all I'm not trying to be a chef I just like cooking I'm not a chef uh oh I just like tasting food I know that little piece of avocado playing with me jumping up out this doggone bowl no ma'am. Anyway, y'all. Because I only got one. I mean, I got two other avocados, but they're not ready yet. You know, they're not ripe yet. All right, so the Rotel. Normally, it, like, the pieces of the tomatoes are too big. I normally chop it up. I'm tired tonight. Whatever. Just throw it in there. That looks like about, what I got up in here? Almost like a tablespoon and a half of the rotel. So one avocado, less than half of a small chopped white onion, about a tablespoon and a half of the rotel, a couple of shakes of the cilantro, hold off on this because that rotel got a kick to it. I'm going to add that last. A little salt and a little pepper and you need, need, need the lime. Squeeze some lime up in there. I'm going to stop there and stir and then taste and then we'll see what happens. I think I know what I did the first time. I used pico and I think I chopped up some red onion. Yeah, I can't ooh, I've been craving this. So if anybody's out there craving some guacamole, I'm showing you all how to get that there done. Right? Now, it, it take a while too. You know, you have to get the taste correct. Let me get a little tasting spoon. It's just me and my son. I just want a little taste of this. You know, I don't want a lot, but a little taste of it. Hell no. To the num no no. No man. Alright, so now I'm gonna add some more salt. In a minute, this is about to come to the rescue. I now the first time I made this, I didn't even know what the adobo was. That was I made guacamole two, three years ago. 
Now, I'm just adding this because I see it needs a little enhancement with the flavor. I'm going to pour about, mm, like about half a teaspoon of that. You do need vinegar to make the guacamole. Just when you do the little jalapeno juice trick, just use like a fourth teaspoon at the max half. Don't go past half because you're going to have guacamole soup. Alright, so don't do that. I almost messed up. <laughs> I barely, I'm just not, I barely made it. I'm gonna squeeze a little more lime. Come on, Jesus. Shoot, a little more salt. Y'all, I'm tired. Please excuse me. This is not the best quality. Forgive me. I'm very tired. Something's going on with my. I've been weak, and I, I know what it is. That's that vitamin D or that potassium. And see, my body is craving this. Body is craving these vitamins. Okay, now let me try it again. See, that's why you need the fresh cilantro, y'all. Dang, I had it in my hand. I was up there being um low key lazy. Yeah, that fresh cilantro, you need that. But I'm I'm gonna get it right. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get this shit right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what I did wrong. Duh, sis, you gotta chop the uh, these up in there. I forgot y'all. Y'all just doing this right with me. That's what's up. I'm figuring out where I went left now. So you need, hmm, see, I can't have too much of a kick, so let me see. I'm going to pull it out, hmm, maybe about four or five of these. Let me see. See, I know what I can handle. Some people be, you know, need more kick. That's one. It's, 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 it's tasting, it's tasting good, y'all. I just know what else I need. What's that? One, two, three, four. That's like about five of them. I'm going to stop right there. No, one more. You got to be careful, y'all, because once you get this a certain type of heat, ain't no turning back. I'm sitting here thinking right now. Okay. So you want to... <clears throat> it's your preference though, alright? Whatever level of heat that you can handle, that's your preference. If you want to pull a good 9 to 12 out of that and chop them up, so be it. I just know what I can and cannot handle. I can't have my food too spicy. But that was six, y'all. So that was like six. No, that was, no. I had, right, I had six, so I just chopped up four. And that's two left. Let me see something. Let me stop right there. Let me see. So I just chopped up four. Okay, 
Oh cat, let's see what I'm doing. I had yeah, I was at the store. Remember I told y'all I had already attempted to make this dip and the avocado that I cut the first time was like no man. It was not right at all. So I had to get up and go to the store. And then I had I think the first time I made this y'all. I chopped up some red onion. I'm not a huge fan of red. And I, I, you know, I had it in my cart and I changed my mind. One thing about that red onion, y'all, it's like a strong, distinct taste. And I'm like, I don't wanna. Okay, let me do the honors. It should be okay by now, let me see. I can get a whole chip. Yeah. Let's see what's up. So what's up? -er? It's good. Okay, it need. Okay, I'm finna add some other uh You need some more jalapeno slices. And I'm just chopping up the slices. The first time I made it, when I had that pico, woo! Y'all pico gonna do it. Right. The, Cause the pico I had, y'all, it already had fresh cilantro chopped up in it. I just bought some store bought pico. Like I told y'all, I made this guac like two years ago. I'm just I'm tasting like what do you need? What do I, what do we need? Cilantro, a little more pepper, a little more accent. We need them with salt. We have to work it. I love my foods. I don't care what it is I'm making to be full of flavor, you are. Let me see now. So I gotta start this meat. When I look ass, hold on, y'all. I might. Okay, can y'all see it? I'm trying to clean the rim so it don't look so nasty on it. Cause I'm in this bowl with, and I should have used a smaller spoon. I feel like getting it. This is what I have. Okay, let me see. I think, I think, I think I got it. Yeah, I got it. So what I learned is this. So this is a backup that you all could use the um on, the Rotel if you don't have any pico. thinking I'm trying to think when I make this the first time did I put some lemon juice in here
it's good, but I can feel like something missing. FYI, when I made this the first time, I forgot to uh, write what I did down. Oh. It's good though. It's real good. I'm just thinking, because I haven't made this in so long. I'm gonna get I gotta do it. I just wanna try like a drop or two of the real lemon juice. I just wanna see something. Probably could have added um like some more onion. It could have it could, but y'all I'm not I don't like a whole lot of onion when I'm cooking. I love fresh onion, but like not because see I'll be scared like it's gonna overpower what I'm you know the rest of the dish. No matter what I make, I'm always Chopping up onion carefully. Alright, I'm gonna try this, y'all. I just wanna see what it what it's here for. I'm gonna do like two drops. Maybe three. It's gonna come out as real loose, juicy like. Let me go one. Two. Okay. That was about three. for it. I'm gonna see what this do y'all. I probably can add, I'm gonna put a little more of the rose hair. I like this rose because it has the green chilies in there two a little bit more of the rotate so okay that was about since I added more like two tablespoons of dice rotate tomato all right so I'm stirring that in and the rotate I just added it's about it's about the it tastes really good. I just feel like it's like what's missing. It's something missing. It's the pe the pico that I use. Y'all, I found this pico at this grocery store called County Market. Boy, that pico be busting. They usually sell it in like a small container, and it'd be like the bigger container next to it. But now all they have is the big container. I just be wanting the little smile, you know. When I be in the mood for pico, I just be wanting a little taste. Not all of it. Ooh, I hope this is. Cause I'm scared the tomato gonna then kick the kick the kick down. <laughs> Let me see. Oh y'all tagged me in this bag. ASMR. Yeah. Let me not get a lot because I'm just trying to see. Mm, I know what happened. Yeah, that real lemon juice, y'all, that did it. I'm going to add a little of this. Be careful with this, kind. That 
That's all you want to do. Yeah, that real lemon. Yeah. Mm hmm. See, I like, I'm the type, I like that mild kick. Not that spicy. Make your nose run type kick. I gotta stop fooling with it. So it don't be all uh, too runny on it. Cause I'm gonna refrigerate this and then I'm gonna serve it with our nachos for dinner. You know, I've been making so much like holiday dishes, you know, and the soul food, y'all. I don't want these nachos. That's what I told my son. I'm like, I want nachos. For dinner tonight. Keep on. Every time I'm. I'm sorry. I wasn't even showing y'all. Three more, and I'm gonna be done. Yeah, you have to see when it comes to the guac. You have to get this exactly, you know how you like it. I'm gonna do two more. No, yeah, two more. A little bit more line. a little bit y'all remember i said you have to be careful because you don't want it to be you know guacamole soup it's good though mm -hmm. you get the white chips Ain't gotta be bougie with the chips. And ain't gotta be Tostitos all the time. Y'all, sometimes these, these other brands be way better than that. These are so super fine. I love them. That's the white corn chip. And then it also um, comes in the yellow corn chip. Okay. Y'all can see my little mess. See, that lamb and that lemon juice, baby. Mm-hmm. I see me and my son. We're going to be about to be arguing. Oh, this. Oh, this guacamole. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that did it. Mm-hmm. taste you all. When you make the guac, I have strongly advised, yeah, it is fire. Mm-hmm. You to get two avocados. Y'all, I got three. I got two in the refrigerator. No, I got one, yeah, one sitting out, one in the refrigerator. And I just bought this one. So, I should have bought another one. 
Yeah, this is good. Trying to clean the bowl for you all so it don't look so nasty. And then, you know, when you want to get jazzy with it and serving it up, you know, say if you have some gas and you're doing a little centerpiece dip, you know, just stick some chips down in there around the side. Or you could get a little um a little salsa, like a little salsa plate, and then you know, then sprinkle the chips around. Alright, y'all see that? Alright, I'm gone. Cause I'm ready to make this um taco meat. And then after I, when I heat the meat up on the skillet, I gotta chop up some more onion. When I heat the meat up on the skillet, you all, I put a little water in. I'm going to use half of this. This is like a 2.13 pound pack of brown beef. And I'm going to use half of this. It's actually, not even half. I'm going to use this. Because this is just, I'm not making a lot of nachos. I need, to, I'm, I'm going to make lasagna for Christmas. So I need the rest of this for the lasagna. So I'm going to just like brown up that much. A little less than half. A little water in the skillet. And I always have like the chopped white onion. Okay. I usually use Lari's. Onion powder, garlic powder, black pepper, accent, paprika, a little garlic salt. When I'm browning the meat. And I usually chop, um... Place the chopped white onion in the meat with, you know, while the uh, meat is browning. Because you want the onions to get all in that, you know, the flavor of the onion to get all in that meat. And then once it's brown, I drain it. And then, you know, if you're making a small amount of meat like I'm making tonight, just one. But say if I, if I was like doing this whole pack and then two. Then about like two tablespoons of this. This is getting low. I got I got a big one down here in this cabinet. So you you know as the meat is browning, stir it up, let it simmer a bit. Add a little of this. You see, I just eyeball it like I'm in the skillet, right? The meat browning, or rather not browning, but it's like in conjunction with the spices. And I've stirred it, and I let it simmer for a few minutes. Then I. My mama taught me that trick. Pour a little of this in there. Don't not too much, cause it'll make your stuff soupy. But just a little. Boy, it'll turn that flavor up. All right, I'm going wrong. Let me go ahead and start this meat. Hope you all try my um, guacamole recipe. All right, have a good evening.